we're going to discuss square roots and cube roots. We're going to start by looking at squaring and the reason for this is that square rooting and squaring are kind of opposite inverse relations to each other. So square rooting undoes what squaring does. Let me show you what I mean. If I ask what positive number when squared is equal to 25, I'm asking you what positive number squared gives me 25. Hopefully that's easy for you by now. The answer to that is 5. And that tells me immediately that the square root of 25 is 5. So when we're asking for the square root of 25, we're asking what positive number when squared will give me 25. So if we start at the other end, for example, we ask, what's the square root of 49? What we're asking is, what positive number, when squared, will give me 49 as the answer? And that should easily be known to you as 7, and so the square root of 49 is 7. Now we could also ask some quite weird questions. Um, if I asked you, for example, what is the square root of 53 times 53? Remember, what I'm asking you there is what positive number, when squared, will give me 53 times 53 as the answer? Well, what number must I put in over here to get 53 times 53 as the answer? The number I have to put in there is 53, because 53 squared means 53 times 53. So, the square root of 53 times 53 is 53. And we'll have a very similar story with cubes if we do, and cube roots. If we ask what number when cubed is equal to 8, what we're asking what number cubed gives us 8 as the answer, and you should know by now that that's 2 cubed. And so writing that in cube root form, that means the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. And we can um, start with the cube root sign again. So maybe let's say, what if we asked, what is the cube root of negative 125? Well, what we're asking is what number, when cubed, gives us negative 125 as the answer. And you should know that that is negative 5. And so the cube root of, 100, of negative 125 is just negative 5. Now, you might have noticed I was very happy to talk about negatives when I was dealing with cube roots, like ne cube root of negative 1 to 5 is negative 5. Um, but I deliberately avoided talking about negatives when I was talking about square roots. Why is that? Well, let's think about square root of negative 25. I'm asking myself there, what squared will give me negative 25 as the answer? And I'm going to be stuck trying to get that answer because a negative times a negative gives me a positive. So negative 5 times negative 5 will give me positive 25. And a positive times a positive also gives me a positive. So 5 times 5 will give me positive 25. So there's no option here. There's no solution to this. In the real number system, the square root of negative 25 does not exist. The other thing to take note of when we're talking about square roots is, look, negative 5 squared is negative 5 times negative 5, it's 25, and 5 squared is 25. So when we talk about the square root of 25, actually we could possibly either give 5 or negative 5 as the answer. But we didn't want to have that confusion in maths with one thing having two answers, and so we very deliberately say the square root of 25 is just the positive answer 5, and if we want to have the negative answer, we say negative the square root of 25, and then that comes up with your negative 5. 